guys welcome back to another video or the first video watching me today instead of doing a monster high doll video i'm going to be doing a lol surprise omg doll this is my my first ever omg doll i've ever gotten and it's funny because i've been needing to record this <laughs> for you guys and i got this doll um april i think like april 20th of 2021 it's literally gonna be like a year anniversary of me having this doll in the box like it's march 30th 2022 so i wanted to get a review before i complete make this a whole year of having her in box because this is ridiculous and also like this is my first take to see if i like them or not even though i think if you went on my instagram you see them like obviously i like them now but first i really didn't like these dolls because i kind of feel like they had like plate heads and saucer eyes i think their heads were too big i always was trying to look for like if someone had like a video of them like putting their heads in acetone to see how the, their heads would look better smaller kind of like ever after high but i didn't see any but so for the most part yeah this is my take see if i like them i'm gonna take her out the box <laughs> you know all of that but um i have something else to say oh yeah so yeah i had it for a while i used to really just avoid these i thought they were hideous i thought they were ugly and then i seen the baroque one which is this one miss royale and i'm really like obsessed with baroque fashion like anything angel print cloud print anything like that is literally up my alley so when i seen her i was like mm, i really need to have her so when i first seen her i fell in love then i seen sweets and then I seen Chillax, I said they really made a doll after me because Chillax is a little me as a person except a little bit things are different. <laughs> but once I seen them, I just kind of like fell in love with them. And yeah, so we're just gonna review her and take it from there. So her box is like a TV screen. Like those old 80 TV screens, it says channel five, has the little buttons and knobs, it says her name is Morel. I'm not gonna, t I know this tone's off because it's like that 3D holographic of her dancing. I actually wanna keep it as this because I keep my doll boxes and I plan to put her back in this um, box for this review. So I'm not taking this off, but you know, this comes off and it has her dancing. It has the little channel, change the channel button, but like I said, this is in the box salon that the um, arrow started to chip. Um, yeah, and then it's just holographic and it looks like a TV. And let's turn it around. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we'll turn it around. It has the others Channel 5, 6, 7, 8. It has Miss Royale, Major Lady, Ro um, B Girl. I almost said Royal B. <laughs> and Virtual. My least favorite out of this line is Major Lady. I really can't stand her. I know she's supposed to be like based off of what is his name? Like Robbie something. I don't remember. I'll put it in. But I just don't like her colors. The only thing I like about her is her boots. But there was like this really good sale. So I wound up getting the other three. Like on Target. And I had a uh, employee's discount. So I literally got them all for 15 bucks. And then since I had a discount. I literally paid like $13 for all of them. So I was like I might as well just complete the collection. So that's that. And then for the back. Okay, <laughs> as you see, I'm dramatic. It says 15 surprises. We know how OMGs are. 15 surprises is really like five. Like, I'm not a big fan of surprise dolls. That's why I used to not like them either. That's why I'm like very pro um, clear boxes, but I'll have, a, I have a story time for that that I will play you guys later. But anyway, it says 15 surprises. It says God to watch, what to watch, my shows. It says the OMG, I'm registering your girls, meaning these are adults. It says dance 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 has channel five you can see what it says channel six seven and eight they're all dance channel has the little plug-in the little um ports the um i think this is like fanning like the ventilation for the old tvs because they would heat up kind of like older like desktop computers so it's like the fan it says let's be friends omg collecting it says follow me on instagram and youtube and i noticed when i watch other omg videos when i was first getting into them i wanted to like study them because that's how i am a lot of people don't talk about the bottom. So, for anyone who's collecting OMGOs and you feel like you're missing accessory or you want to know what's the 15 surprises or you want to know what she's supposed to come with and if to know if you're missing something or not, just look at the bottom. That's what I did. It tells you right here, includes one fashion doll, a pair of earrings, pairs of shoes, five fashions. I don't know how it's five fashions. She only comes with one outfit, but whatever. A hanger, two accessories, one hat box, one garment ba bag, <laughs> a doll stand, a brush, black lighting magazine, and it tells you all the other stuff. 
and uh, yeah so I'll be right back actually never mind let's just do it together <laughs> I'm gonna slide this off because I did look at her okay maybe I have I'm a back <laughs> I just slid the plastic off people say they have a hard time taking these off this is really really easy to take off Oh my gosh, there you go. So you guys can see. So let's slide her out. Inside of the box, let's see if you guys can see. Let's move her. It's just like magenta -y inside. It's just a regular box. It's cool. And now, if you might watch my um, my Monster High videos, um, you've seen there was a Miss Royale in the corner. And here's why. Let me grab her to show you guys. So, I'm picky with my dolls. I really am. And I'm really picky about what I collect. I don't collect everything. Like, it has to have my standards. Like, I told you guys in the last video, if Monster High dolls come with flat feet, I'm good. So, with her, since she has, you know, a plate head and saucer eyes, it really drove me nuts. But I was like, well, she's cute, so I'll just let it slide. Until I saw that. Do you guys see that? Let me zoom where the box in. You see her lips? Her lips are not fully painted. <laughs> and so, when her lips weren't fully painted, I was pissed because, so I was like, I was pissed because why is my first OMG doll already having an issue? And I realized when I watch other people's OMG doll videos that a lot of OMG dolls have quality control issues and Rainbow High as well, but the thing is about Rainbow High is they have inserted eyes, which I prefer anyway. I love inserted eyes. So, but they have issues as well but so i contacted mga and then i waited and then they told me they declined my thing they declined my offer not offer um my request for a new one because i was asking them for a new head because we sell on aliexpress taobao taobao alibaba all the time but they sell pieces and those are their warehouses because you know um mga's warehouses are really cheap compared to mattel's warehouses and so i just asked them can i just have a head mine's messed up my hair is kind of messed up her this she was just kind of messed up and they were like oh we don't sell heads we'd have to sell you the whole doll with the body and we don't replace hair which i know is a lie because i know doll collectors who had issues with their avery wigs and they got a new wig so i don't want to believe that and they were just dolls with bad hair and they sent the new ones and so they didn't want to give me a request and so the lady called me and I was telling her like it's not fair because I can't even see what I'm buying so for you to tell me you can't replace it that's really messed up and she was like yeah I agree with you da, da, da. Um, contact Target and see if they can just give you another one because we're cool with them and if you have the receipt and everything you can turn it in I told her I don't have the receipt and she was like well since you have it in the box they'll let you just turn it in because it's a doll and we're cool with Target and as long as you didn't have it over the 90 days you're cool Long story short, they didn't send me another doll, so I had to wind up buying this one, this one, hold on, with no hands, but it's okay, I'm gonna just switch heads, from, um, I bought her off of Mercari, and even her hair looks better than this one, actually her hair does, but I can fix that, but yeah, long story short, she has a better face than this one, and <laughs> MGA, you had me messed up, I asked you nicely, and you couldn't even do that, I just don't understand, like, I don't know it just irritated me and it just I don't know they were trying to make it seem like it's not a big deal talking about these dollars supposed to be played with I understand that but at the same time there's kids who have OCD that like even though they play with their dolls what if they want their dolls to look nice just because it's a play toy doesn't mean they have to look messed up you know what I mean so I don't know that's just me some people be like it's not a big deal I think it's a big deal that's personal. That's something I have to look at and I pay with my own money. I should have the right to look at what I'm buying. I should have the right to complain if something's messed up. I should have the right to... I just don't understand how you have a number for people to call if they have an issue and then I have an issue and you don't want to answer it. I don't know. But anyway, she's still beautiful nevertheless and I got her taken care of. And I'm finally glad to get this review out for you guys. But I had to have a quick tangent because that was just really, really annoying for like my first ever OMG doll to have an issue. But whatever. So let's just look. She has a little um I guess you could say magazine, but I would say this is like a little booklet. She has a garment bag. She has like her translucent clearish whitish um um hat box. I prefer to call these um what's it called? Fashion bags. I hate the word garment. Does anyone else hate the word garment? Let me know in the garment, the comments if you hate that word. I can't stand the word garment. She has her outfit 
and her stand in the back and I'll be right back so we can get a better look at her. Hey guys, I got her out of the box. Um, the unboxing experience was pretty okay. It was pretty easy to get them out. And that's what I remembered I was trying to say. Does anyone else when they like buy OMG dolls, they have like this compels like compulsion to like keep them in box? Like I like them, but sometimes I get like an urge to like get rid of them. I don't know why. It's like I like them, but then I don't. And then when you have them in box so long, it's like when you want to open them, you're like, nah, I should probably keep it in box because what if I want to sell it? And I'm like, well, I don't sell my dolls. When I like them, I like them. But I just wanted to know, does anyone else ever feel like that when they have OMG dolls, they just like have an urge to keep them in box and not open them? Like, I don't, I think that's weird. But I think after me opening her, like, I don't feel that way no more. So I'm glad I broke the curse. But um, yeah, she comes with a blackish, a trans, translucent um, black brush. I actually kind of like it. But I'm used to like the brushes always matching the stands, kind of like Monster High dolls. She came with an extra waist clip, which at first, when I first um, noticed they came with extra waist clips instead of the little seat they used to come with, I used to thought this was a waist because I'm used to Monster High just coming with one. But then I just started thinking about it. I was like, actually, that's smart because you know what, Monster High dolls, sometimes they break and then you'd have to go like eBay to get a new one to match your stand because I'm, like I said, I'm particular about my stuff. And someone tried to charge you like $30 just for a clip. And so I'm actually glad they come with extra. So that's actually pretty cool because, you know, clips sometimes break. But this is more of a sturdier plastic than the Monster High ones. Then she has her little um, clothes bag. I don't rip mine. <laughs> so um, I see people just tear them open, cut them open. Like I said, I'm very particular about my stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to open that last because I don't want to rip mine. She um, comes with her little... I guess you could say, I, call, I would call it a TV guide, okay? It's a TV guide, that's her. The front, it says dance guide. It has a picture of her. Miss Rael, fashion of a pose. A pose. I would, um, since some of them don't come with, um, their, you know, the magazines, and it tells their zodiac sign, I'm just gonna give my zodiac signs that I know what they are. And this is the little dance. And also on the website, they have the full, like, dance thing, because there's more dance moves than this. And I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, I'm gonna say she's a Libra because she's giving me Libra vibes. So yeah, my guess is my not my guess. I'm my permanent opinion is that she's a Libra. It comes with this tissue paper. I already know it's in here, I think. It's a little fan, right? And then it yeah, a little fan that is really bent. Like I told you, I had this in the box for a year now. It says extra. You put her hands in there. And this is a little black light. Oh, what's now? Oh, this is a little um, choker. Because in focus, it has a broken heart in the middle. And it has like these black pearls all around it. I see uh, also for, and this is just the black light. I'm not pulling the black tab out because I have a bigger black light. But it's like a spray can. And it's like kind of like, I know I never talk about this, but it's kind of translucent pink. They know that. Like a light pink. And being careful, I'm glad mine isn't missing accessories. She has these translucent blue with a black gem bow in the middle. These are super cute. I'd wear these. Those are cute. Okay, and I'll be right back. I'm right back. <laughs> I like told you I'm really particular. I didn't want to rip the garment bag. I took it out. It has like this bro brocade pattern. And they're like all little rhombuses. And you have the little, I forgot the name. I put it in. It has that design. And they're like this sartreuse kind of chartreuse uh, neon yellow with this neon magenta. And it has a neon yellow hanger. I don't really take out the hanger because what's the point? We just came from the fabric. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a bunch of those now. And then this, which everyone was confused about, which I'm used to, but now I figured out what it was. Um, this is not a skirt. This doesn't go over her metal um, skirt. This is, um, I forgot the name of it, but it's a frill. It goes in the back. And a lot of brocade fashion used to have that and we used to post to make women look more like taller and broader shoulders because Broader shoulders used to be like, um, it was like a thing for like, um, maternity type of thing to make you look more like feminine, like kind of similar to like how women, men, like men, women thicker 
because it looks like they're more healthier to have a baby. It's, it's like a peacock effect thing to make them look more attractive. And so it goes on her thing. I think, is that Velcro? Is it? It looks like Velcro, but it's not. And it's like, as this neon yellow trimming, and then it's like this meshy white material. And yeah. And let's get to the doll. I'm just knocking the camera over. I am sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, excuse this royal. So let's get into her. And before I want, what I wanted to mention about her, um, I also wanted this doll because um, if you shop at Dolls Kit, which I know a lot of people don't nowadays, <laughs> not gonna talk about that. Um, this outfit is actually a Dolls Kill outfit. There is a Dolls Kill outfit that I ordered that looks just like this, so that's what I thought was funny. And also the shoes too, because these are called the night. They're called the night call something shoes, and they're these exact same shoes for the doll scale. And I wanted to mention that. So let's start with her shoes. <laughs> they're like leather buckled, um, and like these thick platform heels with a bow, a white bow. Can you see that? In the back, they have a little buckle, a white buckle at the back. They're like translucent pink. They have a black strap at the top. And actually, I realized these are one of the first OMG dolls that are almost like open toe because I realized with a lot of OMG doll shoes, actually, besides Splash Beauty, none of them have shoes where their feet, feet are sticking out. She was the closest. So I, I also wanted to mention that. She has these knee high like socks that are black with a bunch of bows in the back. Super pretty. And it's like this neon yellowish green. Kind of like that one crayon, Crayola crayon at the top. It's really like ruched. Then it has like this sparkly, kind of like it's dripping design. And it's like this kind of, I would say it's periwinkle colored. Oh, tip is all periwinkle. The thing just popped off. But it has these black bows in the middle. It has like this netting sewn on top of this iridescent plastic material. She has her cage um, skirt with the little buckle, the little rings, same pattern at the top, bows on the side, and this little cutout, and has the same mesh material as the little thing that goes right here. And then she has three, four, sorry, two pigtails with two braids on each, with these, oh my goodness, <laughs> with these little buns on top of her head, two smalls on the side, and a big swirly one at the top. And um, yeah, and then she has this light yellow. I would say yeah, yellow. And you see my eyebrows are messed up, but MGA didn't care. She has these light yellow eyeshadow with like this kind of like, I wanna say bubblegum pink lipstick with um, pink blushing on the side with a cute little heart. Reminds me of Jackie Laura. And then her eyebrows, I did not like because one eyebrow is supposed to be up and the other is supposed to have like an attitude. But the thing is, in the box, like I'll show you guys, it showed that it was like streaked, but when you get the doll, it's just kind of like stamped on there. And I see some OMG dolls have more detailed um, eyebrows, so I kind of didn't like that they didn't do that with her. And then, this is used to creep me out when I first started collecting OMG dolls. I'm used to like Monster Heart dolls, so you know they have arched eyebrows. This is the first time I ever got a doll with like bone straight eyebrows. So that was kind of weird to look at for me. And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get her fully dressed and yeah, I'm back guys. I got her all dressed. I forgot to mention oh, her necklace all crooked that she also, we all know, has the black and the black light feature. She has like this little mask on her eye. I forgot to mention, and her hair is like this lilac y. I guess you could say this, it's more of a lavender, lavender and like a cotton candy pink streaks in it and has a little bit of white as well it has this yarny texture a lot of people don't like but i actually like it because it's really um accurate to the rococo fashion because it used to have like powdered wigs so it feels kind of powdery like it's supposed to and this is how the thing's supposed to be on the thing and i was wrong it's velcroed in the back so you can velcro it on i really like how it looks looks nice um yeah she has like these neon colored nails Super pretty. You can see the extra that goes in the dark. Um, also, I didn't get to show the back of her box. Oh, and I didn't talk about her stand. So she has like these like rivets, like kind of like sing. I guess um, 
kind of like studs around it. It has like these zigzags. It says LOMG. It's really big and round. Bigger than I thought it was, like when I saw pictures. And it's like this translucent pink color. It's really nice. And it also has a clip at the bottom. That's why I told you they come in a lot of clips. <laughs> and also, Ben and Snap Knees. I know that people aren't a fan, but I actually feel like this goes with the OMG aesthetic as well. Because I noticed OMG, those are supposed to be like more glorified brats. They have everything that brats should have. So I noticed that. And um, yeah, hers are kind of stiff, but actually, she moves four. Because a lot of people, um, here, let me show the example. Let me show you with the tissue dress. OMG dolls, people usually only think, um, have three motions of articulation. So I think it's like the front, um, the middle, and then like one back. But actually, I'll show you with this leg so you guys can see. It's one forward, the original, back, I mean, ooh, back. And if you push hard enough, it's one more. So there's actually four joints. Cause you can make this super sharp one, medium, like the average where her leg is, and then her kicking forward. So actually OMG dolls have four range of motion in their knee joint, not just three. Just wanted to uh, mention that in there. Then this whole thing, everyone said it looks like the walk video. Oh. <sighs> Sorry guys. But to me, it just looks like a Baroque, like, mansion. It says, let them dance, like, the reference to what's her face. He said, let them eat cake. Um, has a powdered wig statue on g -Doll. Has, like, these teal and, like, spearmint green walls with the marble at the bottom. Has a podium. Has, like, I forgot the name of the design, but it has a kind of like a chandelier design with that same design that's on her garment bag. Has the pearl, did I say pearl? <laughs> uh, I said the marble design. It has like this magenta like carpet that goes to like a checkered dance floor that's magenta and black. Same design size and curtains. A big chandelier. It's, um, black at the bottom, um, the top. And the same side as the other. And a, a mirror. So, overall, I give this doll a. Uh, I would give her a 10 out of 10, but I give her a 9.5 because MJ made me mad. And I'm mad that I had to spend my own coin so she could have perfect lips. But yeah, she's my one of my favorite. She's one of my top favorites. Um, she's really pretty. I do recommend this doll. I've noticed OMG doll's popularity has been going down ever since Rainbow High and the whole Shadow High thing. So I personally don't like Rainbow High. I think OMGs are better. I know that's really unpopular opinion but that's my opinion hopefully i didn't forget nothing <laughs> and um yeah them she's just, um this is her outfit i don't know how it says five fashions i guess one two three four and then the socks is five that's called instead to me someone who's good, a fashionista that's considered an outfit that's not five fashions i mean her socks don't also turn into a tube top. I mean, I guess you wrapped it around her breast, but I, you know, socks are socks. Socks is in a shirt, socks is in a skirt. So I don't understand how it's five fashions, but whatever, I guess. Overall, she's a pretty doll. It's cute. I love when she has like a French white skin tone. Yeah, she's pretty. And then I wanted to zoom in on the necklace, which I know glows, but you guys are gonna see that in a minute. And yeah, and also I forgot to mention she has like these neon rubber bands. I'm trying to help make sure I don't forget anything because sometimes I do that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a doll overall. I like her. She's my first. And she started my whole OMG doll collection. So yeah. And like I said, I'll have more pictures up on my Instagram. I'll link my Instagram below. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Whatever you do is fine. I appreciate your time watching me and thank you so much for your time. Bye. Also guys, oh my camera focus. I forgot to mention on her earrings, her paint is really chipped. Like, can you guys see that? Kind of bad. Like on the other ear, it's not as bad. My camera will focus. 
Yeah, it's not as bad on that ear. But on this ear, it's like all on like the ribbon part. Yeah, just wanted to mention that.